Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Courtney and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. If you're not new, thanks for coming back. It always means a lot to me. So today I'm doing another bins versus stores haul. Um, if you haven't seen the last couple videos, basically what I do is I spend either the same amount of time or the same amount of money at each of the, the Goodwill store or the Goodwill bins, and um, I show you what I basically get. So if you're someone like me and wants to know, are the bins really worth it? Um, in my area, they tend to be worth it. I know that that might not be the same in every area, but hopefully it's helpful to show you some of the stuff that I can find at each location. And um, I also will share with you kind of the expected sale price that I'm hoping to get. Um, along with just some of the information that uh, reason why maybe I picked something up. So I spent four hours at each this time and I spent $57 at the Goodwill bins and I got 29 items which breaks down to $1.93 per item and then I spent $93 at the Goodwill stores same amount of time that I spent sourcing. Um, I only got 15 items and it broke down to about $6.20 per item. So uh, LA, along with many major cities, tends to have a little bit higher price point. Um, by no means is that, uh, say that smaller towns can't, but ten, I tend to see on halls that uh, the, the people living in bigger cities um, do have a bit, uh, you know, items that are priced a bit higher. And um, so this is an unusual pricing for me or my area. And with that, I will just go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna start with the bin stuff and I'll show you everything starting with this solo. <laughs> this was probably the biggest bummer of the day. If you aren't familiar with Teeks, here is the sole and then here is the brand right there. These are uh, a, a reseller's dream. I, I pick up when I see people on Instagram find these, it's just, you know, their year is made. Uh, and the reason is, is because they're kind of a consistent quick seller is what I'm um, I'm seeing from other people. Um, they're very convenient. They're a pair of shoes that can fold and very travel friendly. So if you're, you know, going out for dinner and maybe you are worried that your feet are gonna hurt, you can kind of throw these in your purse. So they're very convenient, they're well made, they're very expensive retail, and I this is the first time I found, not a pair, a solo, and I'm telling you, I dug for days trying to find the other one because, uh, and you guys can correct me in the comments, but the comps I'm seeing for a pair in, in reasonably good condition um, go anywhere from $100 to $200, and um, these are definitely in reasonably good condition, and I could not find the other one. So. Note, these do sell on eBay. I'm not sure on Poshmark. I did search, I couldn't find any. But two things to keep in mind. You could be like me, looking for a pair so you can resell the pair for more. So that's an idea that I'm, I'm browsing right now is maybe I can find a pair that can, or a, another one that can go with it, same size, same style, and then I could maybe purchase it for you know 20 bucks and then resell the two for over $100. Um, or amputees. So if you see on the descriptions of a lot of eBay listings for solo shoes, uh, people who don't need two shoes maybe don't want to pay for two shoes. And so I haven't decided which which one I'm going to do. I'm currently just browsing to see if there is one that maybe could make a pair. Um, I think it would be totally fine if I spent 20 bucks to get the other one and sell it for more money. But I might just sell it. What I'm hoping if I were to sell it on its own, uh, I probably only get about 25 to 30 for this, but I'm uh, still exciting to see that brand because I know a lot of people like uh, that's, that's a, that's a Volvo brand for a lot of people. Um, this is kind of a random pickup from the bins. This is uh, two Ted Baker garment bags. So they're long and they're purple on this side. And they're in reasonably good condition. I mean, besides folded, look like there was a little bit of a faint red line, um, red mark on one of the lines, but this was just more of a fun pickup. That's why I love the bins. Um, you find just random stuff like that and it's lightweight, so it barely costs me anything. They are selling on eBay. I'm hoping to maybe get 
Um, you know, 10 bucks for each, 10 to 12 for each is what I'm seeing. I might, li I think I've listed them together. I might separate them, but we'll see. Another random pickup is this Ray-Ban sunglass holder. The reason I picked it up is uh, as I, I, it's the only sunglass I really have worn. And um, I think people lose their cases and this is was really clean inside. It wasn't perfect on the outside. It had a couple scuff, scuff marks, but um, just a really great hard case to protect your sunglasses. Only expecting about, you know, maybe 12 to 15 for that. But I love, I love those random pickups. It just kind of makes me happy, especially being on eBay. This is a, a bag and I'm not going to try and pronounce it because I don't know if I've ever heard anyone. I think I've heard someone say it and I just can't remember how they pronounced it. But this is just a really cute laptop bag. It's really clean on the inside. Uh, lots of compartments, really fun print. Only downside with this is it didn't have the long strap. So it does have the ability, the little hand straps right here. And easily you could throw on a black strap from another laptop bag and still use this. So hoping to get maybe 20 to $30 for this. I think some of the comps were a little bit higher, but without that strap, I'm not, I'm not going to push it. So these were a pair and I didn't realize at the time. So they're these really cute, um, they're called CVs and they're just a little Oxford, really cute style and kind of small, but really clean on the, the bottom or the soles. Uh, the downside that I didn't realize until I started photographing, I'm not sure if it's going to pick up, but the, the little part around here, you can see that some of it is kind of wearing off. So although they're in great condition, that's probably going to bring down the value. So I was kind of hoping for about 20 to 25 for this. I'll still try and hope for that. I still think it's a cute style and still in good condition otherwise. So we'll see. Just knocking out some of the shoes and odd stuff before I get to the clothes. These were a pair of really cute, the brand is Mephisto. And I don't know if it's picking up the print, but just a really fun print. So kind of like a Birkenstock brand, but again, really great condition. These were pretty tiny. They are a size 35. So I can't remember what that compares to, but I want to say maybe a six, but really just cute and fun, especially for spring and summer coming up. These were cute and they're not worth much, but I thought they were in good condition. You find a pair and sometimes you're just like so excited to find a pair. So this is a pair of Adidas Climo Warm boots and they're just black, kind of a, a suede material, really clean all the way around inside and out. They're kind of a, not, not too thick, but a little bit of kind of warmness inside. But anyways, hoping to get maybe 30 to 35 for those. Found another pair of Uggs. This is more of the classic kind of taller style and classic kind of tan. These were pretty beat up and uh, we've been experimenting uh, with washing these because I've seen a lot of people do it and I've washed my own and they do get a little tough right when you get them out of the right when you get them out of basically drying air drying they're a little rough but when you wear them quite a bit they soften up and they're back to normal so uh these are the real so depending on what type of ug the sole is usually a good way to de to determine if it's real or not um i only own one pair of real uggs that i that i bought retail and so I usually try and compare it to that, but basically this kind of style for women's shoes tends to have this on the bottom. There are some other ones on men's and other style of Uggs that have different soles as well. But with the regular Uggs, I'm usually looking for this sun print and um, that's usually a good sign that it is authentic. But otherwise they were clean, they cleaned up pretty good, not in perfect condition, but uh, I will disclose in the listing with this and another couple pairs that I've washed um, that they are a little rough because I washed it, they're clean, they've been air dried, and they do soften up after uh, wearing a few times. And it probably will bring down the value a little bit, but still hoping to get 
about 45 to 60 for those. All right, and this first clothing item is a really pretty plum. It's kind of a, a turtleneck, but it's not folding the right way. Uh, this is a Pure Jill, which is part of one of the lines for J. Jill. And I know uh, not all their items do well, but this particular style seemed to do pretty well. It did look like, and I haven't caught, got it under the light yet, still photographing everything. It did look like there was a faint mark on the front. I did wash it, so when I get it under the light, I'll be able to tell if that's um, out or not. Hoping to get about, let's see, 30 to 35 for that. This one, sometimes you are at the bins or any thrift store and you know something's not gonna bring you a lot of money and you're like, but this just makes me happy. Kind of like the, uh, the new Netflix series, if it doesn't spark joy. I will list anything. I don't need it to, to be cute for me to list it. If it's gonna have dollars that are gonna be coming in from it, I'm happy. But sometimes finding cute stuff just makes you happy and this is one of those. So this is a little flamingo short sleeve button down. It is a Zara man. It's it's a size small, so it is, uh, I, I, I usually pick up large or extra large for men's, but I just couldn't pass up. It was super cute. Only hoping to get maybe 2025. I know I've sold some Zara already on, I think eBay and Poshmark and for, for men. And um, it doesn't go for much, but they have sold pretty quickly and that's just such a fun print. So especially with summer and spring coming. This is a really pretty dress and the top part is silk. It's marked by Marc Jacobs. And I did feel like there was a bit, and the lighting in the bins is always pretty terrible, uh, that there was a bit of a mark right here. And I'm not sure, I'm gonna get it under the light. I still need to photograph this, but, uh, and, and steam it. All of this needs to either be steamed or has been steamed and then been sitting in my package pile. But uh, hoping to get about 30 to 35 for that if I can if if it's in good condition and there's no problem under the lights but we'll we'll see this is a really cute dress this is not going to be an, another money maker but I really did like the um just the style the print it's kind of embroidered this is a brand called just Taylor and good size size 12 only hoping to get maybe 25 to 30 for that but Still perfect for upcoming season. Seasons. This one, I wasn't sure. Sometimes you just, you don't find easy comps uh, when you're there and you don't wanna spend too much time looking up comps. This was really lightweight. It's just a little scarf and I know it's kind of not the right season, but very lightweight. But I did see this label and it looks like this brand has sold. It's 80% wool, 20% cashmere. It's very soft, it's just a classic scarf but the comps were kind of just not great so i just decided i'll grab it i'll see where this is sold if it's just one of those tourist things when people travel it might not bring in much but i'm definitely not going to lose any money so hoping to get maybe 20 to 25 for that unless i find out that it's got a higher value this is a pair of outdoor voices and they're just gray full length leggings and then on the back you can see it's kind of a, a darker gray I think that's the back, yeah. Nope, that's the front. The front is the darker gray. The back is just all one gray. So the only downside to this, it's perfect condition on the outside. Like I couldn't find any flaws, super excited. But this label, man, it's it had some sweat. Blood, sweat, and tears is what that looks like. It does have another tag on the inside on the, on the front part in front of the little pocket right here. So I can see the material. Uh, I thought I could see, I can see right here on the little destroyed label that it is small. So that's good that I at least can have the size. I'm still hoping to get about 40 to $50 for these. This is a desirable athletic wear brand. And so hopefully they don't mind the label. I think that's why a lot of the athletic brands do the tear out labels so they don't have that issue. This is a brand that I had to look up. And I think it's pronounced Moosey, maybe? Mousey? 
washing me out. This is a, a long sleeve tee or three fourth length, nope, long sleeve tee. Kind of has this, I'm not sure if it's picking up, kind of draped effect all in the front. And then you can see the bottom is just kind of asymmetrical. A couple things with this, I think when I went to go photograph it, it, I, it doesn't have a size or I'll need some translation. So yeah, size F. I'm not sure if any of you guys know this brand, what size F means. Looks like it's probably medium or large, but some of the stuff from this, this brand is very expensive. I couldn't find anything exactly like this, so I just decided to pick it up. It was kind of fun, black, basic, kind of flowy tee. Uh, only hoping to get maybe 20 to 25 for that, but uh, still good to learn about that brand because some of their other items were resold for quite a bit. This is a really cute dress. It's a little Diletta anthropology dress. Here's the label. Perfect for spring and summer. And I haven't photographed it yet, but it looked like it was in good condition. So fingers crossed. Hoping to get about 25, maybe 35 for that. This is my first time finding True Religion. I know a lot of people, this is a, a really popular brand and um, but these are some men's true religion jeans they are just kind of a straight leg and then the back so the nice thing about this is they're in great condition nowhere on the or light I guess just a little bit right there but I mean great condition um, the label inside says limited edition. I'm not sure if that's on all true religion. It's a size 30, but I was excited to find those just because I haven't found that brand before. Hoping to get maybe 40 to 50 for those. This one, I just thought the print, I like animal print. I don't know who, I don't know how many of you guys think animal print's just kind of a neutral, but I am one of those people. I like it all. This is a Rebecca Taylor, uh, just a little silk blouse. And the only downside, and I saw this in, in the bins, was there was a little bit of a couple marks down here. Because it's a print that things could, it's not like it's a, a, it's a solid color that any mark would show up. I thought, well, I'll try and use some silk cleaner, see if it'll come out. If not, might list it as is. Maybe someone could tuck that in. I don't know, we'll see. But it was still just too cute and very lightweight. So if I can get that stain out, maybe 40 to 50 for that, 35 to 45 for that. This is a pair of another outdoor or athletic brand that I have not found until now. These are some leggings. You can see some of the mesh detail. This is the brand Aloe. And this is it. Aloe Yoga is the brand. But uh, <laughs> these have major pilling. So I picked them up knowing they had major pilling. I just pulled them out of the wash and they still have the pilling. So I'm gonna have to do some sweater shaving and some lint rolling before I take photos. But if I can get this in pretty good condition, hoping to get about 30 to 40 for these. This is one of my favorite brands to find only because I love silk button downs. When I worked my corporate jobs and my startup jobs, uh, I would wear a lot of button downs. And um, if I could afford this brand, this would have been one of my favorites, but this is a very expensive brand. It's equipment. And this is just such a fun little button, silk button down, navy. It's got the little, uh, oh, Eiffel Tower. Wow, I was blanking. Eiffel Tower, it's in great condition. Uh, so hoping to get about 35 to 45 for that. This is just a little Vera Bradley. It's not in perfect condition, but it did have, I mean, it was sitting in bins, so it did have the strap that has never been used. I don't see any major marks on it. Oh, there's one. I don't know if you could, if you can wash these with maybe like a washcloth. Maybe that's what I'll try and do. But just a cute little style. If I could get those marks out, hoping to get maybe 20 to 25 for that. So another random pickup. 
In one bin, there was a whole bunch of suspenders, and I don't know. It's just one of those things where you're like, are suspenders valuable? Are they worth anything? Let's pick them up and find out. Because again, I think sometimes it requires a little bit of research. If you don't know about any anything about certain items, um, it's just helpful to just pick it up and just figure it out as you go. These don't look like they're anything, well, like, expensive I can't find any brands but there's one thought I lost that belt two three four five six seven seven pairs of suspenders I don't know what I'm gonna do with them but at the very least I figured I'll pick them up I'll learn something about suspenders didn't weigh too much, didn't cost me much, and uh, just by doing research, I'll be better informed for the next time I encounter them. And I can always just throw them up on auction on eBay, and maybe someone who just likes old school suspenders, or maybe they are worth something. I still need to do research. So not sure what I'm gonna get for those, but it was just kind of a fun little pickup. This belt is uh, really cute. It's got this really fun buckle, and if you can see, it's got kind of a floral, subtle, subtle floral print all throughout. Seem to be in pretty good condition. The brand is, oh geez, there we go. I'm not sure how to say it, but the comps weren't too great. Only hoping to get maybe 15 to 20 for this, but I thought it was a cute belt, so. This is a pair of Eileen Fisher white skinny jeans. And I, I avoid petites. Uh, I think most people do just because you pick them up and you realize they sit and they don't sell. However, Eileen Fisher strikes me as a brand where people know what they, what they, what fits and it strikes me as a brand where people are buying petite. So this is Eileen Fisher petite. It's a six petite. The reason I picked them up is they were in great condition for being white jeans, skinny, which is a great style six, which is not too bad of a size, not too small. And it's, um, uh, perfect for spring and summer. So I thought, well, again, it's the bins. If they don't sell for much or if they sit, I'll, I'll keep learning that lesson, but I'm kind of hoping that they will sell. So we'll see if I, if they do sell, I'm hoping to get only about 15 to 20, but still these are some banana Republic Martin fit. I just kind of liked the stripe. These are, um, not linen, but they kind of have that linen look and there is a a little bit of a glare, so we'll move. Uh, but just kind of subtle stripe. And with these ones where people know the fit by J. Crew or Banana, uh, it's easy for them to order used online because they already maybe own one or two and they just are trying to buy more colors and more replacements. So not expecting too much, maybe 20 to 25 for that, but kind of perfect for spring and summer. This is a, another example of an anthro brand that doesn't have the anthro RN number. This is Theo or Tio, Tio, I'm not sure, and Leah. This is one of the softest sweaters and I just loved the print. It's got this three fourth length sleeve and it's kind of, you know, a little bit tighter elastic on the end of the sleeves. Uh, this really pretty front bow, which was cute and it's just so soft, but RN number, doesn't match when I went and looked on now some people make up anthropology for anything that kind of looks anthropology so if you search for something and someone says something's anthropology best to look for the RN number uh, on the in, in, on the material tag and see if it's a match to anthropology or you can go to anthropology's brand list and they have carried brands that don't have the same RN number this is one of them now I don't know if this item was exactly one of the items that has sold at Anthropology, but this brand is on their brand list. So uh, I decided to pick it up, really soft, really cute. Hoping to get maybe 20 to 25 for that. This is a really cute little girl's jacket. And it's this brand, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's on the sleeve. I guess it's right here as well. But it's in great condition. It's got like a little hooded zipper that zips into it. And this little bow on the back. 
Super cute, great condition. Hoping to maybe get about 30 to 40 for that. This is a Tommy Bahama. This is a long sleeve shirt, silk shirt. Uh, I know this brand used to sell well for a lot of people and doesn't sell as well. Yeah, so a size large. Uh, but at the bins, it, it, is, it is a brand that still sells. So, and it is expensive retail. So I decided I'd pick it up. It's kind of this gold. I liked the print, kind of subtle. Not the Hawaiian that's kind of common with Tommy Bahama. Hoping to only get about 20 to 25 for that, but still good to find at the bins. This is a mountain hardware vest and I need to lint roll it because I got it out of the wash and it still has some fuzzies on it. It's a size medium. This is a great outdoor brand and their vests tend to do pretty, pretty good. So hoping to get about 20 to 30 for that. This is a REI hiking kind of utility shirt. So it's nice because it has on the back the like vent thing. So when you're hiking, you have air circulation um, or really outdoors in general. Really great green color, which I thought was nice. And I think it was a good size. Yeah, size large. So only hoping to get about 20 to 25 for that. But I thought it would go for a little bit more just because REI stuff, you know, is not in every city. And I know a lot of people outdoorsy people like it, but it didn't have the eye of comps. So won't lose money, but lesson learned. Uh, this is a really cute skirt and this is by the anthropology brand Edme. I'm not sure if it's going to show or if the glare is too much. Sorry about that. It's Edme and Esselet maybe is how you pronounce it. But this really popped in the bins as far as uh, just the color and style. Just really fun and cute. Size six. And I know, I know some people don't really pick up skirts. I know it's not really an aisle I go to in the thrift store very often. But at the bins, if you find something like that and it's lightweight, sure, I'll give it a shot. So only expecting about 20, 20, 25 for that, but I thought it was cute. This is a pair of Adriano Goldschmied. These are men's, kind of a straight leg, distressed. There's some distressed on the back. This is the Nomad Modern Slim, so a slim leg, but they seem to be in good condition. They are supposed to be distressed, so just has that look. Hoping to get about 30 to 40 for these. This is a cute little clutch, and I love this brand. This My, my wallet, and my, my past couple wallets have been this brand, which is, I'm not sure if it's gonna, it's a little awkward with this one, but it's Hobo, if you can see there. But it's not in perfect condition. Uh, it does have the little hobo card. Oh, that's interesting. Designed by women for women. I did not know that this was a women's based brand and that's that's always fun to know. Um, but just cute. It's not in perfect condition, but still just kind of a fun pop. If you had a black top on or something and you wanted a pop of color, this would be adorable going out. So hoping to get about 20 to 25 for that. This one, I don't know. Okay. Well, it's a brand I had to look up and, but it felt just like really great leather, just really soft and nice. I really liked the style. It's got this fun zipper that goes and opens it that way, which I thought was adorable. This is the tag. So Carla Mancini. Uh, there were some that went for quite a bit. This was pretty beat up. So I noticed that there were some marks on the front. So there's a mark right there. And then there were some marks down there. I don't know if they're just surface stains and if some leather cleaner can get that out. If it can't, can, I'm hoping to get only about 20 to 25 for this, 20 to 30 for this, but I still just liked the style. It had both straps, so. Again, I don't think I'll lose any money when you take those kinds of risks. And um, it's always fun to kind of look up new brands. This is a really soft button down shirt. And it's it says Piamita, but when you look it up, it's actually a J. Crew line. 
So it's a, I believe it's a silk blouse. Yeah, 96% silk. And it's just got this very simple, in all honesty, I kind of thought it was a pajama top, but on the models and on the, the cover, um, the stock photos that I found when I looked this up, it looked super cute with jeans and some boots. So, uh, I, and apparently the, it's kind of a higher end brand. It's not J. Crew Collection, but it's still one of their higher end brands. So hoping to get about um, 30 to 40 for that. So if I were to get, that's all the stuff from the bins. And again, that was four hours at the bins and I just wanna pull how much. So if I were to get the kind of the higher uh, amount that I uh, quoted you, that's not the amount. I usually list a little bit higher to allow for some offers. I would get for this uh, about $1,100. If I were to get the lower amount, um, which, you know, some stuff sells for full price, so it'll sell more than what I'm telling you, and some of it will sell for less because you take a lower offer, um, 852. So considering four hours of work, being able to get this amount of stuff pretty easily at the bins, definitely not a bad day. A couple of them, I, you know, I'm not sure how they'll do because it was kind of hard to find comps. It doesn't include things like the suspenders and that kind of thing, but it was definitely a fun bins day. My mom went with me, but this is all the stuff that I found. Uh, she also found some stuff like some fry boots um, and some other really cute stuff. I didn't include that because I wanted it to be a fair comparison. So she stayed at the bins and after about four hours, I decided after lunch basically, I decided to go to a nearby store that I hadn't been to before. And um, so now I'll show you what I got there. Uh, at the store, I spent $93 and got 15 items, and the average came out to about $6.20. So uh, about half of what I got at the bins in the same amount of time, and I'll show you what I found. This first one is a pair of Burberry flats. Now, one thing I've learned recently, at least with some bins pickups, with some high-end designer uh, shoes, they could be pretty beat up. Like there were some Prada shoes I found, sold, I think $20, $25. There were some, uh, I can't remember the other, oh, there were some Todd's shoes, orange that I found at the bins. So some of the nubs on the bottom on, were, were rubbed off completely. They were in good condition, except for that. Some bought them in like five minutes for $15. So at the bins, I definitely think picking up come high-end designer, but still a little beat up, will still sell. These I wasn't too sure about. So I think they're adorable. The Burberry is on the little heel part. It's just this beautiful kind of teal color. They're, they're, they're not in great condition. So I'm not sure if it's going to show... But somewhere around here it says Burberry made in Italy. I think it said size 36. Um, they're wearable by all means and they are cute and I couldn't find anything exactly like it. So with these, I'm, I'm not, not expecting much. I did pay, uh, the average was 620 per item there and that was about what these were. I'm still hoping to get about 25 to 30. I, I just, I wasn't sure just because the color was so pretty. Again, they're not in perfect condition, but they still have some life. They're not completely thrashed. So we'll see. Maybe I can get 35, 40, um, and I'll probably list a little higher and then just bring it down, but we'll see. This is a t-shirt that I found this brand before at the bins, and I picked it up only because they were only charging $1.99, and I'm just, I, I like finding men's stuff, and I thought the graphic, after looking up comps, it doesn't look like this has that great of comps, which is a bummer. Some of the graphics do better with this brand, but just the logo doesn't do too well. So only hoping to get maybe 10 to $15 for that, but lesson learned, it didn't cost much, even though it was regular store. This was a new to me brand, Asuka. And this is a kind of orange, kind of color blocked or striped long sleeve tee. It's very soft. I don't know what the size five is because in comparison to how I would wear something, I would say this is like a large, extra large. So they must have some sort of different sizing. But when I looked at the brand in the store, it, some of the stuff did extraordinarily well. I couldn't find this exact item. 
It doesn't have a material tag, but it's very soft. A lot of the items are used with the keyword lag and look, lag and look. So I'm not sure if this is a lag and look brand or if just some of their styles are that, but this unfortunate thing when I went to go take photos, the sleeve, which I didn't notice in the store, right there on the hem or on the seam is a little bit of fraying. So I think I'm still gonna list it just because I think that would be an easy fix for someone. I'll obviously disclose it. It will probably bring down the value. If it didn't have that, I was hoping to get maybe 25 to 30. Now I'm only hoping to get maybe 15 to 20, but we'll see. They had a lot of cute stuff, so it was a good brand to learn about, but kind of a bummer. Another new to me brand. This is a Blue Marine, made in Italy. Made in Italy doesn't automatically mean it's going to be worth anything, but it's usually a sign that I'm gonna look something up. So this is just a really pretty cardigan. It has some really pretty detail. And I believe this didn't have the size either, but this was another brand that uh, does pretty well on certain items. Some of the cardigans like this, hoping to get maybe 30 to 40 for this. This one was another <laughs> another bummer. I was having a hard time at the store, to be honest. Um, I have a hard time at stores now that I go to the bins, and I don't know about you guys, but it's like, yeah, there's a lot of cute stuff that I could have picked up there, but I'm trying to stay above 20 at the bins and above 30 uh, at the regular stores. I don't always do that, but it it means that I'm gonna get a decent amount of profit or or payout per item for the amount of work that's required to photograph and list and all of that stuff in store. So I try and aim for that. And that means you put a lot of stuff back. I mean, you put a lot of free people back. You put a lot of anthropology back because it means at a regular store, if you're gonna pay $8.99 for a dress and you are only gonna get 25 or maybe even 18 for a free people top, it it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't line up for me most of the time. So I have a really hard time at the stores and I was definitely having a hard time at this one. This was a really cute cardigan. Another brand that I had to look up. Not sure if you can see the label. It's kind of a white on cream. But Mally Clue. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But some of the stuff did really well. Downside when I went to go photograph this was it's got this lining on the inside, which is really pretty But on this side the lining is Basically coming off like it should be all the way down sewn in So it might be a cardigan for me <laughs> but um, so that's a bummer and And again, that's the other thing about regular stores. I probably paid. What did I pay for that piece? $6.49 for that and now it's damaged and if it's at the bins and it only costs you know $1.50 or something and it's damaged you feel less bad at the regular stores I feel way more bad <laughs> but this is a cute little leather jacket the comps weren't that great which I was surprising it's Neiman Marcus and it's just very soft it's a really cute style I did find the style it didn't do as well as I would have hoped but still hoping to get about 30 to 40 for it this is a Eloquy, and this is new with tags, and I thought this this design was really cute. Long sleeves, has this pink in the middle. Downside is, again, even though it's new with tags, I think I'm gonna have to cut the tags off and wash it. When I was photographing it, there were some faint marks, and I can't even see them now, but they were, they were apparent under the light, so, Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna to have to cut the tags off, which brings down the value, the resale value. And that's probably the only reason I picked it up because I did pay probably $8.49 for that. Um, so again, I don't think I'll lose money. Hopefully I can get the marks out. It's a cute dress, it's size 18, but uh, just bummer that I, I didn't spot those. So this is another dress, coolie bar. And this is one of those dresses that has SBF, so it's long sleeve. It has a little tie, which is kind of coming down, and kind of a short style. Uh, size large, which is great, but it's a new to me brand, but it's got the sunscreen built in, which is perfect for traveling, because you can obviously put, or you most people put sunscreen on their neck and their face, but not necessarily the rest, and you know the sun can get through your clothing. So I was happy to find that, hoping to get maybe 30 to 40 for that. 
This one I wasn't sure about. I found a little area in the dresses that didn't, it seemed like a lot of people missed it on the dollar day before. And so there were some good finds. This one I wasn't sure, but to be honest, I just like the style. It's Laundry by Shelly Seagal. And it's just a long floor length, but it's got the straps, which I thought were really cute. Size two, which is not always what I'm hoping for, uh, but simple black and only hoping to get uh, maybe 25 to 30 for that. But this one was really cute. Just one of those tempting ones for me to keep. This is Hale Bob. And although it looks silk, it's actually polyester, but just this kind of caftan style blouse. And, um, you know, obviously sheer whatnot, but hoping to get about 30 to 40 for this. This brand does pretty well. This one I was kind of hoping, this one's actually something I'm gonna probably send to the Real Real because they do accept this brand and the comps are not great on other sites. So I'm probably not even gonna photograph it or list it. But, um, Nar Narciso, not sure, Rodriguez, uh, but it's, it's kind of high-end designer, has this kind of red on the bottom, black on the top. Comps were not great, but again, it was on the brand list for the real real, so I decided I'll just throw that their way the next time I send something, and if I can make, you know, 20 to $30, that'd be great, so... And then only a couple more items. I got this jacket. It's a J. Crew jacket. This was an, another bummer. I feel like I got a lot of bummers and I was just having a hard time in four hours finding good stuff that uh, would bring at least $30. Um, but I noticed when I was taking photos, if you can see there's a little hole, like maybe a little moth hole, but I thought it was just, it's th this like older J. Crew label. I thought it was just kind of a, not vintage, but vintage looking jacket. And yeah, I just don't think I want to sell it with that damage underneath. I might list it, but we'll see. I don't think it's really worth that much. So this one was really cute. This is a free people, very boho lace dress, long sleeve lace dress. Definitely already has quite a bit of likes on eBay and Poshmark. So size large, which is great. Very cute, classic free people style. This one I was really excited about. And this is kind of like the suspenders. Sometimes you know something is good, like an orange tab for Levi's. I knew that, I knew a big E. If you see that, that's usually good. Made in USA on the, on the material tag is usually a good sign. Orange tag, some of them can go for quite a bit. Some of them don't. And I don't know, I don't know the distinction, but I think I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm trying to learn more about certain brands. And one way for me to learn is to actually get an item in my hands and do research. So I decided to pick them up. They are, I think someone added fabric to make them a flare. I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't know. Uh, so I think they were a straight leg and someone made them a flare style. I could be wrong, but it kind of looks like someone hemmed them. Anyways, I they might not be worth anything, but the orange tab is usually, or I've heard, can sometimes be a lot of money, and I figured I'd pick them up and do some research, and it would be well worth the money spent to at least learn a little bit more about the orange tag. So um, I really don't have a price estimate for that because I don't, I haven't done all the research, but we'll see. And this last one is just a little coach this was actually very cheap. I think this only cost $2.99, and usually they mark up coach. And I'm not expecting much, but it was really clean inside and out. So, and I think this, uh, I've got to look up the number. If you look up this number or some of the websites, and I don't remember which one, you can look up this number and see kind of approximate year of, sorry, not look up the number, but like the count the number of digits and they have examples of, oh, this might have been 95 to 2000 or something like that. So you can kind of get an idea of when it was made. This one looks a little bit more of a vintage style, but I'll have to do some more research. Just clean. I mean, some faint scuffs, but nothing major. 
and it's you know I mean people just like coach and this is just a new great neutral color so not expecting too much for it maybe 20 to 25 so we will see if I were to obviously excluding the couple damaged items which is definitely a bummer uh, if I were to get the kind of high price point that I told you on those items from the store I'm only looking at about $370 if I were to get the low price, usually I write this all out, but I'm just looking at my spreadsheet right now. If I were to get the low price, $280. So in comparison, the bins by far won this time, uh, almost triple the amount of expected uh, payout on these items in the same amount of time spent. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, um, definitely feel free to leave them below. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button or like button, definitely do. It means a lot to me. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video and have, have a great day. Bye.